Hi friends and welcome to Crumbs from Gerard. There is one clear proof for Christianity. Today's reading is taken from the book of Acts chapter 11 verses 1 to 18. The story tells us of how Peter went to eat at the home of an uncircumcised person. And so the circumcision party was very much against Peter and they criticized him for going to the house of an uncircumcised person. Now Peter didn't make his defense by giving long tales and theories. But all that he did was laid before them the facts. First of all, he says, exactly as we receive the Holy Spirit, this man received the Holy Spirit. The second point is, now there were totally seven people who went to this home and ate. Six who accompanied Peter and Peter himself. Now in Egyptian law, you needed seven witnesses and surely these Jews knew it. And also for Jewish people, for any important document, you needed seven seals. So the case was proved. First of all, by the facts and the very presence of so many witnesses. And this is what Christianity is all about. One, it's not just reading text about Christianity and all the books of Christianity. That will not really help you to understand Christianity. But the proof of Christianity is the lives of people. Lives of people that have been touched and transformed. And therefore, the flesh and blood of Christianity is the lives of the saints. The more we understand the beautiful lives of the saints, that brings out Christianity to the full in us. And so a question for you. Which saint's life are you most attracted to? What story of his or her life you like best of all? God Heavenly Father, give me the grace that my life as a Christian may be such that all who look upon me may say, so wonderful to be Christian. And may Almighty God bless you the Father, Son and Holy Spirit. Have a wonderful day with Jesus.